We have new developments tonight after a teenager was stabbed to death. A 15-year-old boy has been charged with killing another teen on a subway platform yesterday. As the young victim's family mourns his death, commuters tell CBS 2's Alicia Reed there is heightened fear when taking the trains. Condolences are pouring in as loved ones leave flowers at the doorstep of slain teen Ethan Reyes. Residents in his quiet Yonkers neighborhood tell us the family only moved to the block in recent months. Police say on Saturday there was some sort of dispute on the street that trickled into the 137th Street City College train station. Eventually, an altercation led to Reyes being stabbed at least once in the stomach. It's deeply saddening and because it's tragic. The 15-year-old suspect is not being named, but authorities say he was caught near 173rd Street and Broadway with a hip injury and bleeding from the back and abdomen. Investigators were able to locate a knife and what they believe to be a broomstick that were used in the violent crime. He's now being charged with murder and criminal possession of a weapon. On Sunday, Mayor Eric Adams was out meeting neighbors and letting them know he's working to keep them safe. One strap hanger says she'd like to see more officers on foot patrol. I believe that if there's more police presence um, on the train, that it can probably alleviate some of the concerns that passengers have. Some commuters share the same sentiment, saying the recent subway attacks have them on edge. Why well, even walk around with a purpose? Right and it's always very scary. You always have to keep keenly aware of what's going on, especially now during this climate, especially now with the youth around here. They're angry. They're mad. Chair of Manhattan Community Board 9 says there's a desperate need for resources to keep teens and young adults off the streets. We've also requested for this specific area from 134th to 140th streets around Broadway that violence interrupters as part of the Cure Violence program be brought here like they have in other hotspots in the city. And we've never gotten you know, that type of investment. Police believe they have the person responsible in custody and are not looking for any other suspects. Authorities say this was not a random attack and that the victim and the assailant both knew each other. Reporting from Hamilton Heights, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.